thanks for joining me to keep up with what's new in data science. Now buckle up as we leap inside the black box. In the last few months, the world of college admissions has been shaken to the core by the bribery scandal. What drove these parents to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars, even over a million, to open back doors for their kids to enter Yale, Stanford, UCLA, and other top 25 colleges? It comes down to this curve, which shows how the top 25 colleges have become more and more selective over the last 15 years. In 2002, these colleges accepted 18 out of every 100 applicants. By 2017, only 9 out of every 100 applicants got in. The flip side of the selectivity rate is the rejection rate. In 2017, the 20, top 25 colleges collectively sent out over 450,000 rejection letters. That's 10 rejections for every admission offer they made. When things are difficult to get, you value them more. Now put yourself in the shoes of colleges. How can you raise your selectivity rate? You can either reduce admissions, encourage more applications, or do both. In the short term, your class size is fixed, so you can't really reduce emissions. Instead, you have to encourage more applications. Now, when you get more applicants, you still cannot increase class size. So most of the additional applicants are going to get rejected. This causes the rejection rates to skyrocket and the percent emitted to plunge. If you like this video, you can help us build our channel by sharing it or hitting that subscribe button. See you next time inside the black box. Principal Analytics Prep. Prepping you for the data revolution.